The technique of fading two colors together is usually reserved for people that use an airbrush, but there is a simple method of fading colors together using spray cans of paint. The items needed to do a simple spray can fade are a piece of cardboard, scissors, masking tape, two or three cans of polycarbonate paint, and a partially painted body. You need to start with a painted body with only the section exposed that you want to fade the paint in. Cut out a piece of cardboard so that it is slightly larger than the area where the paint will be applied. Tape this piece of cardboard about one inch above the area where you want the fade line to be and seal the edges all the way around the cardboard except for the fade area to prevent overspray from reaching the body. Holding the spray can of paint about 10 inches away from the body and spraying at a 90 degree angle towards the cardboard fade line, lightly dust on your first coat of paint, trying to stay consistent with your spray motion to keep the fade line clean. Use a hair dryer on the low heat setting to dry the first coat before you move on to the next step. Once the paint is dry, remove the cardboard and the tape that secured it and get ready to hit the second color of paint. When spraying on your next color, try to follow the fade line created with the first coat. The less overlap of colors you have, the better the final result will be, especially if you're using transparent colors such as candies or fluorescents. Use a hair dryer on the second color and then do one final touch up coat of the second color to ensure complete coverage. Allow the paint to dry again with the help of a hair dryer to speed up the process. Since fluorescent colors were used in this case, a backing coat of white is needed to really bring the brightness of the colors out, so spray that on now. Allow the paint to dry and you've completed a simple fade paint job with spray cans of paint.